That changes perceptions and directions so that I'm left with just one big smile when I look at my reflection. Love so sweet that it warms and forms a fantasy world where boys and girls live in harmony with each other, where fathers and mothers have love that's unconditional rather than holy matrimony based on ritual. I wish to know love that transcends paper and pen, beyond journals and ink, to the point where I can't think but can only feel the appeal as my heart beats out of my chest. And I know that it doesn't matter what happens next, because these steps will be stirred and stimulated by love that can't be simply stated and can never be imitated. I wish to escape this plane, because my dreams are far beyond what this life can contain. See, I've had dreams of heavenly form, shut down by my own need to conform to what this world considers to be the norm. And that norm consists of distrust. It sits with sick lust, and it slowly sneaks within us to the point where I can't breathe. I need to be free. I want to fly above the mountains that any eye can see. But the biggest obstacle I see in my path is me. I wish. And I didn't fear the future. See, because my life has been sutured with events from the past and the present. Set in my ways, or so I thought, until you came and split it apart. And like a surgeon, you sowed the splinters. The good times, the bad times, the summers and the winters. See, I've been handed losses, and I've had victories. Pain and progression blend in my history. So what's become clear to me is his visible fingerprint in the molding of my memories. So why do I live in fear? Insecurities strangle my soul whenever someone talks about a point on my timeline other than where I am right here. Scared when my sight is blurred, when the road ahead is unclear. And I'm, that's when I clutch too tightly and I'm not able to let you steer. Sheer fire and determination fill the eyes of others as they strive towards their goals, leaving me standing alone, craving for this spirit but with no place to go. And I know that I cling to the friendships of others, dreading the days where I can't go back to these times with these sisters and brothers. But others, they're able to let go. They know the path is changing. So I ask why, why is it so hard for me to do the same thing? And what if I never find my true calling? And what if I find it and I'm not brave enough, courageous enough to take it up into my own arms and call it mine? And so I'm left with nothing else to do except listen to the trembling voice inside saying, give it time. I wish to see my family in heaven. For my feet to be firmly planted in the clouds above right next to theirs, where scares and fears of finance and health don't exist. Troubles and struggles lost missed heaven's haven of beauty and bliss. This picture seems so elusive. Glimmers of hope and possibilities falling inconclusive. Contusions from failed optimism as these canvases fall in the trash as my wishes and fears of reality begin to clash. And reality resonates in numerous times that my family's been to the emergency room. My mom unable to walk in pain, and I can only imagine the ordeal she's going through. Reality echoes in the, in the financial burdens this world places on families like mine, where we're left to determine our world in the form of dollars and dimes. And every time I hear a story about a lone Christian with a saved family, my heart skips a beat, wishing, thinking, imagining, if this could happen to me. Happens to be my number one thought every single time we speak every week. It happens to be my number one prayer every night before I go to sleep. I wish. Sometimes that there was no car crash. Because forever is how long these stars last. That we weren't out there stranded for an hour's time as I attempted to slow my own bleeding along with my friends' cries. Cries that grew louder when they gazed upon my face and I realized that my life had been changed in this time, this place, this taste of life's fragility that you've given me, apparent to me as I grew accustomed to the stares that they were giving me. Letting me know that every day, someone, somewhere, is taking their last breath. And even though it wasn't me today, tomorrow, I might not be able to escape death. 
The depth of you revealed to me that afternoon among the fog and broken glass. So different from the afternoon I'd hoped to have, but I know I'm glad. Because through the hours of stitching, procedures, and surgeries, when I could feel the eyes of others burned into me, through all the months of flashbacks, when I could say, man, I wish I could have that back. I know that you were manifesting a miracle in me, molding events in my life so I could tell others that my God saved me. And I tell myself, remember that December. I wish. To tell those of heartbreak and heartache how truly beautiful they are and see the acceptance in their eyes. Because I know that some of them have been told a few times and they haven't realized how their life could be realigned if they simply saw the stunning splendor inside. And time has been buried between barriers and blockades this world has created, held captive by expectations and pressures, so that the illumination inside has nearly faded, but it still exists. See, in the midst of those who believe that money and power are the only paths of real life, and those that have their pain in the small incisions of a sharp knife. Boys and girls who stick their fingers down their throats after every meal time. And those who cry alone in the darkness every night but tell others that they're fine. It still exists. And I long to hear your soul sing a song. A song that doesn't reflect what this world thinks of you as wrong, but rather reflects the, the beauty that I know exists inside you all along. I wish for my ears to hear the crescendos of spiritual, not sinful innuendos. A temple of song that matches the joyous rhythm of our heart lines rather than the downcast depression of dark times. And hard times drown out my words, my fantasy of what this world should be. The images in my mind's eye that I want to transfer to others so that they could see. I wish. I wish to know that these desires and burdens, they're not in my hands but rather they are perfect in the placement of your plans. See, I know that uh, in a world like this, there will always be a need for more love, hugs, and kisses. And so there will also always be a need for more fantasy wishes. See, a wish becomes a dream, and a dream becomes hope. And hope can change the scope of the world, of boys and girls who come after me when I'm already up there with their own wishes, dreams, and hopes, but are too scared. And see, that's where I realize my wishes are his wishes. It's not for me and you. And so, I wish. Oh, what I really wish is that you would wish too. <laughs>